China's definitely lying. And to be specific, because that statement could really apply to just any number of things. But what I'm talking about here is the pretty fucking wild new information we have on the infamous Chinese balloon. Which of course it was something that we put a ton of videos out on, but a TLDR is a big ass balloon that belonged to China floating across the US. But US officials saying it was a surveillance balloon and that it violated US sovereignty and international law. China though insisted, hey, this is just a civilian weather balloon. The US is overreacting. Why'd you use military force against our definitely not a spy balloon balloon? But you know, because it's China, we know it's bullshit. With today's State Department officials confirming that the balloon was capable of gathering electronic communications and was part of a fleet of surveillance balloons that have flown over more than 40 countries and five continents. Department officials saying that American U-2 surveillance planes were able to capture images of the balloon while it was still in the air, and those images determined that the balloon's equipment was clearly for intelligence surveillance and in consistence with the equipment on board weather balloons. And specifically, they said that the balloon had multiple antennas that were likely capable of collecting and geolocating communications, as well as solar panels large enough to produce the requisite power to operate multiple active intelligence collection sensors. The agency also saying these kinds of activities are often undertaken at the direction of the People's Liberation Army. And adding that the government is confident that the balloon manufacturer has a direct relationship with China's military and is an approved vendor of the PLA. This, according to an official procurement portal for the Army. Also notably, adding that the company advertises balloon products on its website and hosts videos from past flights which appear to have overflown at least U.S. airspace and airspace of other countries. Now as far as how China has responded to this, they are still continuing to lie. In a news conference on Thursday, the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesperson said she was not aware of the balloons being part of a fleet as the U.S. believes. And even saying, I think this may be part of the U.S.'s information warfare against China. But, as with the declassification of this most recent information, U.S. officials have made it clear that they intend to keep providing more intel to the public. With the State Department saying today that it'll look into broader efforts to expose and address Chinese surveillance that poses, quote, a threat to our national security and to our allies and partners. And this is one of the uh, very few unifying topics in America right now. And that may be best exemplified with the House voting today 419-0 to 0 to approve a resolution condemning the Chinese Communist Party's use of the balloon, declaring the situation a brazen violation of United States sovereignty. 